So what's going on? It's Rex Capital and welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for joining me in today's video about Bitcoin's price action. And we're going to be talking about the EMAs, the bull market EMAs that are really important to be reclaimed. We'll be talking about them individually, the 50 EMA right over here and the green 21 week EMA. These are all important EMAs that we need to be focusing on in establishing sustained bullish momentum. So going forward in the video, we're going to be talking about these EMAs through the lens of these ranges that I outlined to you in yesterday's video. If you haven't checked that video out, feel free to do so. But without further ado, let's dive right into today's video after a quick message from our sponsor. Our sponsor for today's episode is Ledin.io. Ledin offers a wide variety of financial services for long-term holders of digital assets. Ledin helps you do more with your Bitcoin through their Bitcoin savings accounts, their Bitcoin-backed loan program, and their B2X program. Their Bitcoin savings accounts let you earn 9.25% on your USDC and 6.25% on your Bitcoin. With their Bitcoin-backed loan program, you can take out a stable coin or dollar loan off of your Bitcoin, which is a much more tax efficient way to keep your Bitcoin exposure while gaining dollar liquidity. And through Ledin's B2X program, you can double your exposure to the Bitcoin you already own. Check out the link below in the description and do more with your Bitcoin today. Awesome. So very briefly, what we touched upon yesterday, this was the 28k to 38k region range that Bitcoin was able to break out from. And now that it's entered this range, the 38 to 43, 100 range, right now Bitcoin is trying to establish whether this is a resistance and we get a rejection back down into the red region, just like we saw in the green circles, or whether we're actually going to get a weekly candle close above this black level, which would enable Bitcoin to enter this range, theoretically speaking. That was the gist of yesterday's video. But we can see here that the blue 50 week EMA is actually where the resistance is located at. This is where we're seeing some rejection. Bitcoin can't go any higher. We're seeing some upside wicking beyond this EMA resistance. And this EMA resistance is going to be weighing down on price and potentially forcing this retest or actually forcing a rejection and weekly candle close below this black level so that we see that rejection into the 38K region. That is something to be watching out for because ultimately we want to see this EMA get reclaimed because in the past we were able to hold support here at that EMA before ultimately fake breaking down and reclaiming it, but never as a support, we just shoot through it and manage to enjoy a nice uptrend. But since then, we found support here, but ultimately broke down from it. And for one, two, three, four, five, six straight weeks now, we've been below the blue 50 week EMA. And in the past, we only saw two weeks a week and a half below that 50 week EMA. So it's really important to just see this bull market EMA get reclaimed as a support because that's what's needed to enable further upside. And the other EMA that we need to be focusing on is this 21 week EMA, which is a valuable EMA through the lens of a bull market because these two EMAs, generally speaking, are bull market indicators. and. When we see price recover above the 50 week EMA, it tends to shoot up quite nicely. But when it comes to the 21 week EMA, you can actually see that we have picture perfect retests here, whether that's in an uptrend or on a dip. And we see fantastic support holding on a retest, on a retest. And in fact, we see resistance at this EMA here, which means that we saw price go lower so it's important to see this EMA get turned into a new support and that would be a strong confirmation for further bullish momentum towards the upside. So looking through the lens of this current range right over here, you can see that it's plagued by these two EMAs which will be focusing or at least acting as resistances in the short term. This blue 50 week EMA and the 21 week EMA, which hasn't yet been tagged. These are the two resistances that will be inside this range. But once we're able to blast beyond the blue EMA 
and then turn the green EMA into a support, then we'd be able to see price levitate towards the 52K region, which is the black range high of this overall range that we've been focusing on in today's video. So it's really important to watch out for two scenarios, whether we are able to reclaim the EMA then we'll rally towards the next EMA. That's the next checkpoint. Weekly candle close above either of these two EMAs would be a sign of strength for Bitcoin, especially a weekly candle close above this EMA because in the past, weekly candle closes here have been successful retest attempts. And in fact, you can see that in the past, this retest attempt of the red 38K region was actually a confident region with the bull market EMA. At this point in time, you can see that there is a bit of difference in this price predicament. This is the 38K region, which if we see further resistance from the blue EMA, we'll see a rejection into that 38K region. But if we're able to reclaim the 50 week EMA and then rally and reclaim the 21 week EMA, we'd probably see further upside towards the 50K region. So these two EMAs are going to be a key resistance error. And we're gonna be talking about these two EMAs in the next video in a bit more detail through the lens of the macro reaccumulation range that Bitcoin is enjoying at the moment. But for the time being, that's about it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching today. Leave a like if you enjoyed this one, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm Rekt Capital and I'll speak to you in the next one. Speak to you soon.